first of all, I'm Rich Gruber from Mercy. Welcome. Welcome to, uh, to this important uh, ceremony today. From my perspective, it's really exciting to see so many people, not just Mercy Partners, but from uh, so many people from the communities that are going to be well served by this new facility. And a lot of folks that we've had the good fortune of working with to get through all of the various approvals necessary to get us to this point. Uh, so I thank you for that, and thank you for being here. With that, I'd like to introduce the Reverend Bob uh, Camps, who is going to give our invocation. <coughs> It is great to be here. It's nice to see everybody here. If we could just bow for a moment of prayer. Father, we come to you on this day that you've given us. It's a beautiful day and we thank you for it. We thank you for this project that has come to our community and we hope that with your hands that it will help save some lives and heal some people. We also pray to you that the people working in this project over the next coming months and days, that they will also be protected by you. We also pray that you will continue to bless the workers that work at this facility, and we pray that they will all be safe and that they will all be continued to help the people of this community. We thank you again for watching over this project, and we hope that you will continue to guide us and that you will be with us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Bob. I was uh, touring a friend of mine who happens to be a developer from the Madison area through this particular part of the county. He's interested in doing some development projects all over Walworth County and we figured it would be a great opportunity to bring him over and introduce him to the community because it's such a spectacular community. When we drove up to the Mercy Walworth facility, my friend, uh, Eric Schwartz, said, you know, you couldn't ask for a better, better spot than where that facility is today. And he further said, you know, somebody really had a vision quite a while back to figure out that this is the best location possible for the Mercy Walworth facility. I want to introduce the man that had that vision. It's my pleasure and my honor to introduce our CEO and President, Javon Bay. Thank you, Rich, and thank you all for coming on this beautiful day. Even though you hear bulldozers out there, I want you to know that no ground has been broken, according to our supervisor. Uh, we're going to do that today. Uh, we, they did till up the ground a little bit to make it easier on some of our elderly board members. And um, so um, I, wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to go ahead, though, before I get started and introduce uh, some of our Mercy Health System Board of Directors who are here. And I said that little pun in cheap, but uh, a CEO cannot accomplish anything without a supportive board and it's my board members that really allow everything that's been accomplished at Mercy to occur. And so it is with real pleasure that I want to introduce Riley McCullen, uh, who actually is an old, a young Walworth boy. Uh, Riley McCullen uh, was uh, chairman of Valley Bank and M&I Bank. Uh, Riley's been chairman of the Mercy Board for many years, on the board for probably 30 plus years. Uh, and Raleigh has all kinds of stories of this area of Walworth County, uh, delivering ice all around here as a boy. His wife, uh, family used to own Lake Lawn for many, many years. And so grab Raleigh sometime and he can tell you more about this area of Williams Bay and the town of Geneva than probably most pe people know. Raleigh, would you stand up for a round of applause? I put my foot in it there. <laughs> Thank you, Rally. Also, we have uh, Kathy Shack, who is on uh, the Mercy Health System Board, but also on the Mercy Harvard Board and is a resident of Harvard, uh, Illinois. And Kathy has been very supportive. Kathy, would you stand up, please? And Dr. Mark Gelzer, a pediatrician, but who also happens to be my doctor. That's the way I stay youthful thinking. So, Mark, if you'd stand up. And Larry Squires, who's currently chairman of Johnson Bank and is the treasurer of our board. <laughs> Well, thank you. Well, today we kick off the beginning of a $45 million expansion project 
that's dedicated to the future of this area. And it also continues Mercy's mission of being able to bring serious health care close to home. That's the whole goal is to keep people from having to drive for care. And we're very excited. The theme for today that you'll learn is growth, uh, growing with this community. And that's what we're really excited to be doing. We're also excited to being able to help the community grow financially through this expansion and through the economic spin-off that we believe it's going to create. We're going to be adding 70 new full-time positions uh, as a result of this project, 10 of which are physicians. And those 70 new Mercy partners will be joining the already 280 Mercy employee partners who work out here at Mercy Walworth Hospital and Medical Center. Our contractor is also going to be hiring locally, adding to the local economy, and we were talking to him and he anticipates that we'll be uh, adding or involving between 350 and 400 uh, contract laborers and uh, trades workers through the life of this project. We're excited to also be growing with the spirit of volunteers and Mercy's committed uh, to community service. In fact, we call it the Community Services Program, where we have formal programs for all of our staff and managers to get involved in the community uh, with their time and talents to help the community grow stronger.